Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Um, today I'm going to go over how to put together a launch rod. Uh, this is the Sky launch rod uh, that comes with the Sky starter set. Um, and it's three pieces and people have been wondering how to put it together. Um, if you look at it, um, two of the pieces have roll pins in the ends and then the middle piece has two little holes, one on each end. Um, now these roll pins are really tight and the reason for this is I don't want it coming apart because sometimes you lift up um, on your launch rod like this one here and it comes apart and that's kind of annoying. Um, I didn't plan that to happen but I'm glad it did. Um, so when we specified this from the manufacturer we wanted it to be real tight. Um, but to get them started what you do is you have to get the end inside the hole. Um, and all, basically, that's all you need to do is to get it just started. Now, if it doesn't start on yours, there's two tricks you can try. The first one is take a pair of pliers and squeeze that roll pin. You know, it's, it's split down the side, and if you can squeeze it gently, um, sometimes that's enough to get it started. Um, you can also take uh, sandpaper or a, a metal file like this and just kind of go over the edge and just kind of round off that edge just enough so you can get it started in the hole. Okay, so as, as long as it's staying together like that, that's fine. Um, and then the trick is to just bounce it on the floor. And that's why I'm out here in our uh, atrium area here at Apogee today because I got the hard floor. Um, so then you just bounce it. And this actually works better on concrete um, than linoleum. But uh, once you start bouncing it, um, it will go together. Okay, so that one's in. And then you just do the same thing to the other side. All right, and so there is how to put together a launch rod. So I'm Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Um, our website is www.apogeerockets.com. Thank you.